14 Christchurch residents still battling EQC seven years on. We're today invited to share their stories with Minister Megan Woods and EQC's interim chairwoman, Dame Annette King. EQC is currently handling 2,600 outstanding claims from the Canterbury earthquakes, including 1,300 botched repairs. A further 316 claimants have legal action against EQC before the courts. Dame Annette said the emotional meeting had highlighted a poor collection of data by EQC and signalled a need for a culture change within the organisation. She said outstanding claimants needed realistic timeframes for when their claims would be resolved. So what we heard today, and although I've heard stories, um, local MPs in our caucus often stood up and told us stories, it was very powerful to hear them. Uh, from people today and they, they came from people who've had claims that have been outstanding for seven years through to those that have bought a house uh, thinking they'd bought a sound house only to find that it's a written off house. So, so um, what I'm expecting and what the Minister's expecting um, to, for us to achieve is to ensure that we have um, a change of culture um, and EQC is no doubt and, and, and EQC themselves have said that they haven't always handled this well and a change of culture um, is needed. And what I have detected in the time that I've been in this job and I've met with the staff, I met with all the staff this morning in Canterbury and I've met with the management and some of the staff in Wellington, is a determination to be much more open, transparent and engaged with the claimants um, in, in a way they haven't before. And part of, of uh, the change is um, for EQC here in Canterbury to ensure every one of those um, claimants who are still outstanding has a case manager, that they work in case management with them. This pushing from pillar to post, never knowing who you're dealing with, dealing with multiple organisations and agencies is to be um, managed in a case managed way, um, which um, they hope will start very beginning of April, I think that will help a lot of people in that peace of mind. What's happening? What is the process? There are going to be some long-term issues, which uh, no doubt um, um, Christine will report on, um, that uh, will need to be addressed, and, and it will end up in the, the lap of the government, I think, some of these to address what is going to happen with on-sold houses. Um, and, and so... What we are focusing on now is a, a whole of systems in Canterbury, a setting up of a new Canterbury um, office here with a focus on Canterbury. Um, and as the Minister said, with people at the heart of it. Um, and I'm, I'm determined that uh, what we do going forward is in the best interest of those who have been waiting and needing to have resolution. Um, so so it was, it was eye-opening and... Um, very moving to hear those cases today. It's Dame Annette King echoing uh, Sid Miller's response, the CEO of uh, EQC, to uh, homeowners describing their experiences on Checkpoint.